Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started, but before we do, I just wanted to give you guys a little tip on how to remember the different kinds of triangles and the different kinds of angles, okay? So, an ice box leaf looks like an ice cream cone. It leaves two of the sides are the same, and then it has one shorter one at the top, okay? It looks like an ice cream cone turned upside down, okay? A saline, none of the sides are equal, None of them. So one of them would tip the scale. One of them is heavier than all of them and would tip the scale. That's how I remember that with a scalene. Okay. Equilateral means all the sides are equal. Okay. That one's kind of easy to remember. Okay. For the angles, a little angle, one that's less than 90 degrees, is acute. And I remember that by like acute little kitten or something or acute little sneeze. Okay. Acute means small. Okay. Obtuse, I remember by obnoxious, means louder, bigger than it needs to be. And then a good giveaway for a right angle is that square right in the corner. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. You guys can pause, take a picture, do whatever you need to do with that so that you remember. But that's how I remember them. Okay, so right now we're going to label these. Okay, now you will see that two of these sides are the same. That means it's an isosceles. Okay, you will also see that it, at 118 degrees, it is larger than 90, which means it is obtuse. Okay. Okay, on the next one, it is again, two of those sides are the same and it would look like an ice cream cone if you tipped it upside down, which makes it isosceles. But the angle on this one is less than 90 degrees, which makes it acute. It's small, it's acute. Okay? Now, this one, none of the three sides are the same, so one of those would tip the scale. So, scalene. And that little triangle right, or that little square right there, makes it a right angle. I want to be clear with you guys, having a right angle does not mean it has to be in the shape of, it doesn't have to go one direction or the other. This one goes this way, this one would go that way. As long as it creates a square in the angle, it is a right angle. Okay? All right. So, you will notice that none of these sides are the same. Okay? Just like none of these sides are the same, which makes it scalene. Okay, and that right there is bigger than 90, which makes it obtuse. Okay, now again, no sides are the same, still scalene. And smaller than 90, oops, sorry, uh, Oh, I spelled that wrong. Okay. Let's wait to get it together. Okay. All right. We're going to go down to the bottom. Um, it says, Mary says the pen for her horse is an acute right triangle. Is that possible? So is it possible to have a triangle with a... All right, with uh, an angle smaller than 90 degrees, because that's what acute means, and also have a right triangle? No, it's not. It cannot be both. Okay. Karen says that every equilateral triangle is acute. Is this true? Well, you can look right here. Um, okay, so there is roughly an equilateral triangle, okay? All the sides are roughly the same, okay? And yes, all of those angles are smaller than 90 degrees. So yes, 
all angles less than 90 degrees. Okay? All right, so let's go on to the back. You guys are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down into this bar review. It says how many tons are equal to 40,000 pounds? Okay, so we're going to start with what we know, which is 40,000 pounds. We're going to say 2,000 pounds goes into one ton. Okay, we can cross out pounds. We can cross cancel. That's good. And now 40,000 is on top and 2,000 is on bottom, which means we need to divide. So the two is going to go into four two times. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to add that leftover zero on there. It is 20 tons. Okay. If you need to do the 40,000 in the box and the 2,000 outside the box, you go right ahead. All I did was take off the matching zeros and then two goes into 42 times and zero. Okay. Okay. Choose a symbol to make the following statement true. So six kilometers or 600 centimeters. Well, let me grab King Henry. And we're going to turn kilometers into centimeters. So from kilo to centi. Okay, we're going to make, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five bumps. So currently it's right there. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five bumps. I'm going to fill those bumps in with zeros. Well, that's definitely bigger than 600 centimeters. Okay. What polygon is shown? Well, it has one, two, three, four, five sides, making it a pentagon. Just like the building in Washington, which is why it's called the Pentagon. Okay, name the polygon right whether it is regular or not regular. So it too has one, two, three, four, five sides, making it a pentagon. And because there is a normal name for it, it is regular. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 11.2. Come on back for 11.3. See you soon.